So I think we all know what that is. That's our 32 foot long travel trailer. We brought it home. We're gonna start going on trips. Let's go take a look at it. We bought this from Niagara Trailers. It's a 32 foot bunk house. Oh, can't get in. Okay, um, so our trailer. It's, uh, it's a 32 foot uh, sportsman. I can't remember the actual name of it. We bought it in 2013. It's a 2014, we bought it in 2013. So it's old, it's 10 years old, but it's held up the test of time and we haven't used it very much. We've used it maybe six times the entire time we've owned it. And the majority of those times happened in the very first year of us owning this thing. So we are going to start using it, right? Why not? So here's a quick tour. Um, this is our room. Queen size bed, water storage underneath, um, closet, this is a, another closet, overhead storage. Um, this is, this, very typical of a normal trailer. Um, so this is like the queen bed, our light, TV. Um, so that's it. Nothing major, nothing special. This is the entertainment center. Um, movies, DVDs down here. All of our, the rest of our stuff up here. We gotta replace that TV. That TV is as old as this trailer. And as you know, a 10 year old TV is old. Um, the living room, I guess you could call it, with the couch and the overhead storage. Uh, that's where we currently keep all of our games. And then down there, we have extra cushions and well, I'll just show you. That's where we keep all our extra cushions and blankets. This also folds out into a bed. Uh, plan is Legend sleeps there. Me and uh, mommy sleep up front. Uh, we have Tyson, Aaliyah, and then Blake and his girlfriend will probably sleep right here. Uh, then we brought to the kitchen, uh, stove, sink. I mean, everything's pretty standard. We're actually getting a new faucet that broke one winter because it had water in it. Um, didn't properly, I didn't, I didn't properly um, winterize it. So uh, that broke, uh, getting a whole new system for that. And then we have uh, just a regular RV style uh, microwave um, we are going to upgrade that in some point in the future and same with the stove we're going to upgrade in some point in the future but that's just your typical uh, three burner uh, propane stove with a small little set in there and then uh, you know we have uh, some under counter, under counter storage uh, drawers that's the fuse panel where all the fuse uh, for the breakers for the entire um, house. That is the, um, uh, not the fire alarm, because the fire alarm's right over. Um, that is the seal monitor. Um, that's hardwired, so, you know, anything happens because we run everything off of propane. Um, then we have a uh, trailer style fridge, which um, comes nicely with the automatic feature for gas. It'll run off of the propane and it'll run off of electricity. Pretty standard fridge. Um, pretty standard freezer and then a venting system down below why there's so much venting for this thing I don't know gotta look into that because I might be able to turn that into storage the dining room dining room pretty simple u-shaped dining room we were gonna switch all of this out and remodel this entire thing was what we were going to do but we uh, we've decided not to we're gonna keep it the way it is and just see if we can live with how it's actually built. Um, not put in an upgraded couch, leave the dining room the way it is. You know, it, because we, we we really didn't even get to experience it that much the way it was. So why not try and see if we can live the way it is um, and not take the extra expenditure um, and save it for things to do. And then if it comes down the road and we see pain point problems, then we'll address them as we go. If we need a bigger table or a smaller table or a bigger couch or a smaller couch, we'll adjust it as we go and use it that way instead of trying to change everything now 
and then hope that it's the right way. This table turns into a bed. These, this comes off these poles and then it sits down onto these rails and then we have extra cushions and they all just fold out. And then we come back here to the bunkhouse room, uh, has a little sliding door for privacy. Um, and this is where uh, we're gonna have Tyson and Aaliyah. Um, I believe we're gonna put Tyson over here and I believe Aaliyah is gonna get the queen suite. We'll probably take the top half of this off and she'll have that bed all the way up to the top. Um, just because Tyson don't care where he sleeps. We have the ladder for him to get up. We have storage for clothes, more storage for clothes, and more storage for clothes. Down there is actually our water heater. Um, and the, that's the hot water heater for the entire camper. Um, they put them down there. Um, it's got a vent out to the back. Uh, that also runs off of propane for a left. Throughout the house or trailer, you'll see these little red handles with the red valve or red uh, um, levers. Those are all emergency exit windows. I can flip that lever, push that whole thing out. The window comes right out. There's another one right here. Full sides. Two little levers. You pull those two little levers, that whole window pushes out. People can escape out there. And then there's another one right there up in front. So there's three on this trailer. So that's really basically it. Um, we have the bathroom. Right now we just threw the cooler in here. That is a normal flushing toilet that goes underneath. Um, sink and a shower setup. Um, I believe, yep, we upgraded our shower head to uh, a residential shower head. You do not want the the regular old uh, trailer style. They just purr, 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 purr. Um, we have nothing in there that's useful. That's all stuff from one of our last camping trips. Um, and then under there uh, is just, I think more paper towels, and stuff like that, and toilet paper and cleaner. Um, this is where the center is for the hot water select over. So we can turn the electric on to heat the hot water or we could use the gas. And then when it needs to be reset, at least for the gas, cause that means the igniter didn't turn on, the red light will flash. Here we have uh, indicators for all of our water system. Um, that's to check the battery. We have no battery going on right now, but um, I got to reconnect it. And then we have, uh, we have the gray water, black water, and fresh water. Um, so it keeps track of how full each of those are with that dial right there. Um, we do have uh, an air conditioning and a heating system. It's the Coleman Mac. Uh, it works great. We've never had any issues with it. Uh, still operational today. Uh, the, the trailer itself is a pretty simple setup. Travel trailer, so it's got dual axles, and then in the front, it's just got a normal setup here. We have the tanks off because we're gonna get the tanks filled, and I just don't like leaving them on the street because people can walk away with them. Um, just getting the battery set up because, like I said, we just got it on storage, and uh, the terminals broke off while they're in storage. So I had to get new ends, gonna rewire all of that up, put the battery cover back on. Um, those there are for our stabilizers, uh, the load distribution, I should correct myself, load distribution hitches, because um, we pull it with a Lincoln Navigator and uh, it distributes the load to the front tires of the truck as well as the rear. So it's not doing the big sag in the back. Um, so yeah, the only other thing that you haven't seen, I guess would be the outdoor kitchen, which is why there's a bunk in the back. Uh, we used to have a fridge right there, but we had that taken out. Um, our plan is to put another fridge in there and or a washer dryer, not sure, and then turn this into a wash station. Um, we're still going back and forth on that, but uh, you know, it's got an outdoor kitchen. Um, a stove, a little portable stove that connects to our propane uh, for when you're outside and you just want to grub stuff outside. Obviously another um, microwave out here and then plenty of storage up here. Uh, there's a spare tire that goes on the back. 
Uh, it's taken off right now. I have it in the back corner of my garage. Um, I, it actually has a hole in it. We're gonna get all five tires new. Um, get that set up. We also have to get a bike rack for the back here to put all the bikes up there. Um, we need room for our golf clubs. We're also gonna need room for the uh, dog cages. Um, so we're gonna have to come up with some sort of solution, if anyone knows of any, for under trailer storage. Now I know they got it in the RVs and everything else, but is there any reason why we can't make under trailer storage? Or is there something that's already out there that I'm missing? I ask you. So um, that's the other thing, is uh, we're gonna see if they come up with some under trailer storage. So that's feasible and workable because there's so much room under here. It's absolutely ridiculous. So anyway, that's the trailer tour. And that's what we're gonna be. We're gonna be cool.